Hello YouTube! My name is Brogan Wickerack and today I'm here to celebrate a birthday. Last Thursday I was without internet so I was unable to post my video um, and now I'm going to make up for it because last Thursday was my cousin Barbara's birthday. And for her birthday, I have decided to make a treat. It is a recipe that she taught me called Sticky Chicken. You will need a cutting board, something sharp, two saucepans with lids, little lids, spoon, a skillet, rice. Usually you use real rice, but I'm poor. French dressing. Apricot preserves. Lipton's onion soup mix. And chicken. Okie doke. Let us begin. <laughs> You're gonna wanna get out your chicken, you know, like you do. Fucking plastic. Really, you can do the chicken any way you want, but when I do sticky chicken, I like it to be kind of like fake Chinese food. So, I cut it up into little bits, and then I'm gonna put it in the rice, and it'll be delicious. Alright, gotta cut off all the fattiness. Fattiness! Oh, just blinging chicken around like you do. This piece looks like fish. Mmm, raw chicken. Now that that's all cut up, you're just gonna set it aside for a minute. And we're gonna start up the rice. We've got my cheater rice starting over here. And then now we're gonna work on the sauce. Sauce is super duper easy. You take all the French dressing. This is lots of not good for you so you're aware. It tastes delicious, but it is not actually healthy. Get it all out. And one bag of the onion soup mix. And this is all going to go on a burner on about medium until it becomes like a sauce. Fire! Fire! Thank you. You'll probably end up with more sauce than you need. It's okay. It goes on anything. That's Kaylee with a ramen. <laughs> Roommate times. Somewhere on around about medium, you want to start your saucepan. Except that's a skillet. And now we're going to work on the chicken. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I made you out of sight. Go ahead! Joint cooking! This is a very elaborate and delicate process, you know. Go ahead, look at ramen. I'm seasoning my ramen. Ow! Mother! Hot things are hot! 
You can season the chicken if you want, but you'll lose it in the sauce, so don't. While the chicken's going, don't neglect the sauce. Especially when you have a gas stove, you're not used to it. I am an expert chef. This is my mantra. Uh-oh. You didn't see that. Chicken, you always want to cook thoroughly. And when it's cheap chicken from around the corner in Brooklyn, you want it to resemble shoe leather when you're done. Ah, the sauce has the smell. I can't convey the smell to you, but you'll know. It smells like everything's come together. The sauce is about ready as well, so I will be turning that to the off motion. You'll know it's ready because it turns to this like golden burned orange color instead of that bright awfulness that is the French dressing. Now while we're waiting for the rice, you can drizzle some of the sauce over the chicken. If you bake it, you'd want to actually do the sauce first and then bake it with some of it on so it like caramelizes onto it. It's very good. Come to me, bang. Hot. There's heat. It gets back to that hot things are hot. Oh yeah, beautiful rice. Master chef, I didn't even use a bag. Now you have what is essentially homemade Chinese food deliciousness. It's very good, very bad for you, but good for your soul. And uh, yeah, that's sticky chicken. So y'all go enjoy it, make it, love it, and happy birthday, Grandmaster. All right. Bye-bye. Sticky chicken.